welcome to day eight in the quarantine hotel. Day eight, October 6th. Um, we are officially halfway through. Yeah, crazy. Which is great. We want to talk to you guys about food today. So a lot of you are curious about how the food works. And essentially how it works is we don't order, but they send us three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and supper. Um, sometimes they give us a little automated call, but usually we hear them rustling and just get it when it's there. Right. So one thing that we did when we were booking the hotel in the first place was fill out a form about um, food allergies and that sort of thing. And we did sort of hedge our bets a little bit by um, saying that we didn't want any seafood <laughs> and all of that. So we don't dislike all seafood, but we just felt like that might make the meals a little more comfortable for us. So how has the food been? I think the food has been very plentiful. They, mm -hmm. they are large portions and there's always a few options with every meal. Uh, so there's often like a side of fruit or, um, you know, a, a dessert that often just like throw in a little mini chocolate bar or that kind of thing, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they're quite large. We yeah. think that like some of it is being made in house and some of it's being sourced from local restaurants and that sort of thing. We, we know some of it is because of labels on the packaging. Yeah. It's often cold by the time we get it. Yeah, it's so never warm. We always reheat it. So having access to a microwave has been a really awesome. big deal. It's yeah. been really, really great. Yeah. So I thought everything would just be Taiwanese food, but it hasn't been. All our breakfasts are pretty much very, very Western. I mean, mm -hmm. like a Taiwanese style of Western, but like pretty consistent. We've had like pancakes and French toast and bagels, like a variety of stuff like that with like scrambled eggs and mm -hmm. some meat. Right. Um, I, I love the breakfast. Yeah. Those are my kind of things that I enjoy. Um, we're not, we're not foodies. And so we generally eat pretty like plain boring food at home. Food from European uh, cultures more <laughs> yeah. than not. You have, are definitely more adventurous than I am. So you've done, you've eaten way more of the food than I have. And you just need more food. You just, mm. I, I, this is something I've commented on multiple times that I would have always just thought we kind of ate about the same amount of food. We definitely don't. Um, I am definitely, I do not eat as much food. <laughs> Your metabolism requires a lot more calories in a day. Right, for sure. And you notice that more when it's just like... Yeah, when it's like a direct comparison. Like, right. oh, I'm gonna eat like a quarter of this and you're gonna finish all of yours and all of mine. Do you have a meal in particular that's been your favorite? I think I love the breakfast. The breakfasts are amazing. I also was so happy the day that we got pizza. I think we just needed like a little bit of a taste from home. We did have a meal from TGI Fridays and it was just, right. yeah, like American pasta. So what do you do when the food isn't awesome? I have made instant noodles a few times. Two meals I didn't really eat anything of. Sometimes I'll eat like a little bit of the meat or whatever, mm -hmm. but yeah, I have made that. And also I have lots of snacks. Right. I, I was most anxious about food. I think that was like the area that I was the most um, nervous of coming mm -hmm. in, just having really having no idea what it was going to be like. So I packed lots of nut bars, um, popcorn, fruit leather. I tried to pick things that were dense and easy to pack, but also that would be like filling and nutritious. Now that we're over halfway, do you feel less anxious about rationing all yes, your food? Yes, I yeah. do. I'm like, okay, we're in the home stretch. I'm not gonna run out. And Sean actually um, did a little inventory the other day because I was like, I don't need it. And he's like, there's so much here. So that's, I actually do feel good about that. The other day, just out of boredom, I ordered a coffee from Starbucks on Uber Eats and just to sort of see how the system worked and to see how it would get delivered. Yeah, they had said that they would only deliver during meal times if you ordered food, but thankfully they don't. They they bring it up as soon as you order. Right, so and then the only other thing we've ordered is... Some ice cream. Yeah. We ordered some ice cream, just like a little sampling of like six different little flavors, and that was great. Right. It was kind of nice. Oh, and you got me a brownie, that was nice too. Mm -hmm. um, all the flavors were great except for the mango, which was very... Um, it was not sweet. No. I doubt it. I doubt there was any artificial sweetener. It's probably like super healthy ice cream, which is not my <laughs> jam. <laughs> um, but it was, um, yeah, it just wasn't sweet, which is very typical here. It, I mean, compared to Canadian desserts, I don't think anywhere else in the world does like sweet desserts like right. we do. Yeah. So we are the home of Nanaimo bars and butter tarts. Hundred <laughs> percent. Thanks for watching. Keep sending your questions, um, and we'll do that video in a day or two.